guys, Liz here. Happy Monday to you. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Well, guess what? We had some snow last night and a wintry mix. And yeah, so it's chilly. The kids are home. School's out. So I'm going to have to do a quick video today because it's about to get crazy here in the house. So let's get so started. So here it is, Monday morning. I get up a little bit early, get myself dressed and ready. I've done about six video clips for you guys. And then my daughter comes in the kitchen. She goes, Mom. I said, yeah. She goes, did you know you have lipstick all over your teeth? I said, oh, say it isn't so. She goes, oh, so. So, Mom, it's so. And so I get my phone down and I'm looking through. And then I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh, good grief, Liz. How could you not notice that you had lipstick all over your teeth? So I went, Delete, delete, next one, delete, and here I am again. Oh, makeup, makeup issues. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend and did something fun. My husband and I had so much fun the previous weekend, we did a repeat this weekend. And so we went back to the winery because they're closing down till January 4th and they were showcasing more library wine. So we had a nice glass of wine and our cheese board. And then we were in Warren County, Virginia, and I went to an antique store and then my we went to another store. My husband got records. I found four items and they're adorbs. They're just adorbs. So let's get into the video. I'm telling you, this thrifting has really created a monster here, a huge monster. There is literally something about the thrill of the hunt. And I, I've always, like I used to shop Ross all the time. People would always say, why do you shop that store? It's always a mess. You can't ever find anything. And I'm like, I know, but that's the fun is digging through the shelves and then coming across something that's cute and at a great price. And so sometimes I'll go to Ross before I go to Home Goods or Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx because I really feel like Ross's prices are better than the rest. But yeah, yeah, it's kind of disorderly in there and you gotta weed through stuff, but that's half the fun. It's half the fun. But now with this thrifting stuff, Oh my goodness gracious, you guys, I'm telling you, you can go look at a shelf and go, at, a, at, a, at, a, at first glance, ew, I don't see anything, but just stand there in a few seconds and really scour the shelves. You'll be surprised what you find and for pennies, I'm telling you. So yesterday I was kicking myself. We went to a Goodwill and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw all the Christmas stuff they had out on their shelves. They had Spode, they had name brand Christmas sets for under $10. I could not believe it. Like a place setting of four, for 14 people, a place setting for 12, eight, um, in the cutest Christmas plates. And I've been looking for cute Christmas plates for months and I haven't found any that I loved until yesterday, but I'm a weird kind of a gal. I know a lot of people shop the end of the season for the following year and they make out like, like a bandit with really good pricing and cute items for the next year. I don't get excited about that stuff because I know it's virtually gonna sit down in my storage room for a year and I won't get to play with it. So I'm not one of those girls that goes and buys for the next season. I'm kind of in the moment kind of girl. So like when fall starts up, boom, I'm out. I'm out looking for stuff for the next month, not a whole year later. You know what I mean? But let me just tell you, if you're looking, if you're having guests come and you're looking for last minute Christmas decor, I'm telling you, hit your goodwill because you will be shocked um, at the items you find, at the prices you'll get them at. So just saying. So I have a question for you guys. Why do store owners call their stores antique stores when really there's hardly any antiques, like a handful of items that may be antiques, but the majority of the store is not. Why do they do that? That's false advertising. 
All right, so we're at this antique store. Antique store. It wasn't. It was not. Just saying. Anyway, I come across some items similar to what I purchased last week, and I could not pass it up. I'm somebody that I'm. You all know I'm very symmetrical in what I do, so I usually don't just buy one of a certain decor item. I oftentimes buy two. In this case, I bought four in the last two weeks because I I love I love this look and I hardly ever see it in any of the stores. So now that I'm finding this look, I'm snatching them up as fast as I can because I can use them in different areas of my house through all the seasons and I am in love. Wanna see what I got? I'm going to save the best for last. That's another obsession. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But the first item I got was this topiary plant that looks like a wreath, but in a uh, has a base to it. And I love this one because, well, you guys know green is my favorite color. So when I saw this base, I was like, score. Or I've even thought about chalk painting it like a, like a whitish color. I don't know, we'll see what I do with it. But I think I might just leave it as is. But look, I love this. Um, I think there's a lot you can do with these. I don't know, I keep thinking about Easter and spring and I'm imagining some birds nesting in here. That'd be super cute. Um, some bunnies or whatever, or a pretty bow. I don't know. I just love this and I never can find these in the stores. So I'm snatching up as many as I can. But I love the base because it has, it has grapes and cherries and strawberries. It's just so cute. So I can use this year round. Like I said, I bought two at this store. And check out this one. This one's really pretty. And bonus, it comes with white lights. So, you know, just because it has white lights doesn't mean it can only be used at Christmas. It can be used year round. And I just love this. I thought this was really pretty. I loved the white base to it. And so this was a huge score, huge, huge. But this is an antique, it's not an antique. So the next item I found was this beautiful mirror. It's white and it's distressed and I loved the detail on it. So anyway, I, you can hang this on, obviously on the wall, um, but I'm thinking about using it as a table display. More on that later. Now my last item, oh my gosh, is another obsession of mine, roosters. I am obsessed with roosters. And when I saw this, I said, you're coming home with me, Mr. Mister. And I put it right up on the counter. And I said, I want this. Check him out. Look how cute he is. It's a rooster topiary. You guys, have you ever seen anything so cute in your life? Look at it. The ivy is like his little feathers. I just think he's so cute. And it came in this, this uh, green pot. I might change the pot and make it something a little more substantial, but oh my gosh, when I saw him, I was like, you're coming home with me, mister. So cute, so, so cute. So what I'm thinking about doing with this is once Christmas is done, I'm gonna get a really, whatever color scheme I'm going with in a particular room, I'm gonna get a ribbon and tie a real cute ribbon around his neck and then drop it. Um, you know, little tails, and I think this is going to be such a cute display on any tabletop. Anyway, let's talk about something. Um, with my last couple thrifting videos and my French country decor finds, I had several comments from people saying, um, thought you were going Tuscan. What's up with that? So let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. After the Christmas takedown begins, I think I'm going to be incorporating several styles throughout my house. And I have to tell you, if by chance, just say my house was all traditional, like every room was sort of traditional in nature, 
Me personally, I'd be boring. You know, I think actually incorporating different styles gives you a more eclectic mix. It gives it character. It gives it visual interest. So with that said, I think after the Christmas takedown begins, you're going to see Tuscan, French country, traditional, and farmhouse all kind of mixed together. So I, I don't know. I think it's going to be kind of fun to take a bit of Tuscan and mix it with French country, a little bit of farmhouse with maybe a little bit of traditional. And um, anyway, I'm up for the challenge. In fact, I'm just aching to do a vignette right now, but I'm not going to do it. It's Christmas. I'm not going to do that. Although I'm thinking about it. As much as I love Christmas, I'm getting a little tired of the glitter and the pine needles. And sometimes I feel like the house is closing in on me and I'm ready to just open it up and start fresh. Is that bad? I know, we're just a few weeks away and I'm thinking of taking it all down. So don't you worry, this girl is not taking Christmas down anytime soon. But after Christmas, game on. Game on. And I have to tell you, with all of these Christmas tours, holy smokes, have I been getting inspired. Now, I know they're all showcasing their Christmas, but I'm looking at furniture, you know, staple pieces like furniture placement, mirrors, wall art. I've been looking at that kind of stuff going, hmm, isn't that interesting how she did that? And wouldn't I like to do something like that? So I... You know, in my downtime, I have been finding myself looking at mantle designs for spring, tabletop for spring, family rooms, kitchens, you get the drift. That's what I've been looking at. I know, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. You know why I do that? I think I know why I do that. Because after Christmas, the house is so... Everything's, all the twinkle, all the warmth, all the coziness is taken down. And you just step back and you're like, you, you feel overwhelmed. Like, wh how did I have things before Christmas and fall? I can't remember. And so I think if, if you guys have downtime, you might want to start getting a head jump on that. Like some ideas of how you want to decorate your house. So that when all the, the warmth and the coziness of Christmas gets taken down, you, you've got something to inspire you to create cozy spaces during the cold winter months. And does it have to be winter decor? No, it does not. I know a lot of people go that route, but when I take Christmas down, I don't wanna go put green garland, you know, pine garland and all that stuff out for several more months and have to clean up after it. No, thank you. I go to spring. Okay guys, so let me know in the comments below, where are you gonna go after Christmas? Once you take down everything, are you gonna go back to your everyday decor? Or are you gonna go to spring to kind of brighten and liven the place up and when it's cold and dark outside? Or are you going to do a winter theme? What are you gonna do? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments below. Spring, winter decor, or everyday decor? Or are you gonna change it up? Are you gonna try something different this year in your house? Like like I said, I'm gonna incorporate several different styles. Um, maybe what is your style or are you gonna add to your style with a different style? Totally forgot about Valentine's Day, which is coming up several months away, but still it's coming but I don't do a lot of decorating for Valentine's Day because quite frankly, I'm tired of the color red after Christmas. Are there any, any of you like that? All right, guys, I'm gonna close out this video. Sorry it was so boring, but like I said, the whole family is home and it's about to get crazy around here. So I didn't wanna have to stop, start, stop, start, which is what would happen. So anyway, I was able to kick this out quickly and I'll get it posted for you and I will see you guys Wednesday. I'm thinking Wednesday will be Christmas related, so stay tuned for that. But uh, have a great week and stay warm. It's getting cold out there. Love you guys.
拜。